Hey everybody, Joe here. I'm back again, and it's the first Wednesday of the month, so you know what that means, of course. Time for another pickups video, and not a lot to show this month, but that's to be expected with all I spent last month. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to start with the modern stuff, because I've been buying some modern stuff. You know, got the Wii U last month. I'm going to dig right into things I actually picked up just earlier today. As many of you may already know, Kmart's are discontinuing a lot of their video games and stuff. They've, uh, whatever supplier they had for them, they've lost their deal with. So they're blowing it all out. People have been buying even the uh, display units and whatnot. But uh, the one local Kmart near me uh, was pretty barren of uh, games and whatnot. But I did find two things which I thought were pretty good prices. And uh, it's uh, Mario & Luigi Dream Team for the 3DS. Start playing this, seems like more of a kitty kind of game, but RPG elements kind of interesting. Might be good once I get into it. I only play like the very introductory parts to it. Also, I got a uh, Wiimote. Oh, Wiimote Plus, actually. You know, it says Wii U on the box. This is actually just the empty box. I took the remote and have that with my Wii U already. Speaking of Wii U, one game for the Wii U I picked up is... The uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Not that nice foil uh, packaging here. That's pretty darn cool. I played this for a little bit. Pretty darn cool. I mean, not really the biggest fan of 3D Zeldas, so it'll take me some time to really get into playing it. Also, last but not least, another Wii U thing is the uh, Nyko Command Pro controller. This is uh, an alternative to Nintendo's Pro controller has the control layout more like an Xbox 360 controller. I can reach back here. It's a little dusty because I haven't played my Xbox 360 in probably about three or four months. But there's a 360 controller, and here is the uh, Wii U Pro controller from Nyko. It's a lot lighter. It's got a nice grippy kind of plastic to it compared to the 360 controller. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now on to the retro stuff. Uh, a week or two ago, I was at a thrift shop, just happened to pop in and take a look around and uh, found a uh, really nice-looking uh, PS2 uh, DualShock controller. Seems to be in okay physical shape. Uh, I think I have to go inside and clean it up a little bit because the buttons are not all that responsive, but give it a shot. For four bucks that I paid for it, I really can't complain also, that same thrift shop trip, I found a Mad Cat's PS2 four-player adapter. I've never seen one of these before. I'm sure, not too many games have four-player support, but it's kind of neat. Just plugs into one controller port, has one memory card slot, and then four controllers. Like I said, never saw one of these before. Thought it was neat, and I got this and a PS2 memory card for three dollars combined which is pretty good. It's only an 8 megabyte. It has the name Raul written on it in black marker. Can't really see it because it's black. But it's on there. I wonder what saves Raul as. Maybe I'll check that out. And last, got a couple NES games I picked up. Uh, since I have all 70 of the first party Nintendo games, all the ones published by Nintendo, I'm moving on to Tengen games. So I've got Roadrunner and Afterburner. Always found it really neat that Atari, Tengen, well, Atari owned Tengen, but they've managed to get a lot of Sega titles like Afterburner and stuff like that onto the NES, you know, something you would not see nowadays. And it's a little beat up copy, but I got a copy of Championship Bowling as well. I remember playing this actually with my cousins when I was younger. And that's actually all I have to show this month. Uh, like I said, didn't really want to spend too, too much because I spent all that last month. And... We're only a couple months away from like in the convention starting up. I want hopefully like to hit a couple good ones. Um, Wizard World, J1, too many games. A couple things locally I'd like to get to, but that's another story. Now that we're in April and all the cartoon games are out of the way, we're moving on to Atari April. Yes, Atari April. That's going to be all Atari 2600 games I'm going to be reviewing this month. You know, something a little different. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you've enjoyed this video as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care. 
If you like what you see, feel free to check me out on social media. Otherwise, you can subscribe to this channel. I do new videos every Friday, sometimes on Wednesdays too. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care.